Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. Today I want to do a video on a plugin that I've been playing around with and it is probably the most exciting plugin that I've actually used in a merch account before simply to kind of sort your merch account by reviews or seller's rank or actually be able to search your features, description, brand, title, all of that inside of Merch by Amazon. So I want to show you guys how to use it and what you can really do with it and why I think it's pretty impressive. So the plugin itself is called Merch Legend. You can grab it in the description below. And as you can see here, once you log in, you're gonna be able to click on a dashboard, which is gonna be right next to your Analyze tab here. It's called Merch Legend. I blurred out everything on the screen here. But the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to see a blank dashboard and it's going to give you a really quick walkthrough of what everything is what it supports, what it doesn't support. And in the middle of the screen, you're gonna click an analyze button. And as you can see, there is an analyze, analyzing in progress right now that's going to go out, pull all the information of your merch account into your dashboard. So you can see here that your products are gonna have a, a link to the product itself, what the product is, list price, custom reviews, total sales, sales rank, upload date, brand features and description. And why this is impressive is a lot of us have a lot of different a lot of different products up and we it's really 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 difficult to find certain things in your feature to description because merge doesn't allow you to search for those you're going to have to actually open up every product you have and search the features if that's something you're looking for so just to show you an example it is analyzing so all the products aren't pulled back yet but as it's working if I just type in dog you can see that it's going to highlight all of the dog products right here. Every time I put dog in a brand, a description, or a title, it'll pull it back. I mean, if I do the same for, say, cat, and click go, I don't actually have any cat designs. If I were to type in, say, America, okay, you can see that right here we have some America shirts. Now, I do have some cat designs. I just realized that it is analyzing, so it hasn't brought them all back yet as I'm just making this video, but this is super impressive to be able to pull all this information back inside of your merch account. Now, other than being able to sort by, you know, all the product types, the brand, the title, the features, the description, and be able to look through them for certain keywords, this is probably what I'm most impressed by is over here on the right hand side, you can actually sort your entire dashboard by upload dates from low to high, sellers ranks by low to high, review counts from low to high, and review rating. Now as I did just log in, and I did just click the analyze products here, not all the products for this account are pulled back yet, but to show you what I mean, it has pulled back some with reviews. If I go to review count low to high, it's automatically going to bring back the products which have reviews here. As you can see, this one has one review, four stars. This sweatshirt right here has one review, four stars, this shirt, um, it has two, two reviews at five stars, but the list price is very, very low. Now, my entire strategy, like I mentioned many times previous, has been to sell volume, and as soon as you sell volume and you get these reviews, it means you can go back in, raise the price, and make more money. Now, why this is important is a lot of the times, I don't know about you guys, but I personally miss, if something gets a review, I miss it all the time. So I have to constantly go back through my recent sales, or I have to go through my entire account looking for which shirts have reviews, which can I actually bump the price up on, and it just takes so much time. But once this is done analyzing completely, I can come back in here. All I have to do is go to the Merch Legend dashboard, sort by review count low to high. Now, not high to low, because if you sort, if you sort by high to low, Typically, those are going to be the ones that you're selling every day, and you're going to know that they have multiple reviews, and the price is probably already raised on them. But since we sorted low to high, this means these are the shirts that probably have one review, as you can see here. We can come in here, open up these links. These are links that are blurred out right here. Look at the actual product page, realize, yes, it does have reviews, and then you can go into your other tabs here and change the price. So that's super, super helpful. Another thing that's very, very helpful about this is you can come in here and look at review ratings. Now, if you, let's just do this. Yeah, so it hasn't pulled back some of the ones with one stars and you know one or two stars. You can go in and look and actually read the customer feedback. Once it pulls back all the products, again, I just clicked analyze, so this does take a little bit of time. 
you'll be able to go and read the actual reviews from customers who've purchased your shirts and look at what they had to say. Now, if it's a sizing issue or they're complaining about the smell of the shirt, there's not much you can do about that. But if you go in and you read the review and it says something along the lines of, you know, I bought this shirt for my niece or nephew and I realized it was misspelled, well, now you have an actual issue which you have a solution for. You can go in, you can fix that. I personally have had some misspellings on shirts that have sold. Uh, you know, you have to take action on that. You can't just leave that up. So you pull that down, put another shirt up, make sure everything's spelled correctly, and you can go from there. Finally, we have upload date low to high and upload date high to low. I, I use this at times simply because I want to see old stuff that's sold. So we know that the Ace and Change just came out. If I want to look at a bunch of old shirts and see, are they still selling? Maybe I want to go in and, and look at just the really old shirts on the account. I can go in and start tweaking different keywords because maybe they're not properly optimized. Maybe you can bring those back into Merchant Former. Look at different keywords that might be hot now that you know, two years ago when you put up a shirt, that keyword didn't even enter your mind. So it really allows you to look at in order in your merch account, the old shirts that maybe you want to take a second look at. And of course, you have the seller's rank low to high and high to low. I personally always am looking at this in my own account, especially with AMS. Now that's available for almost everyone. I typically don't look low to high because again, if they're low, they're selling every day and you're probably looking at them. But I will sort by the seller's rank high to low because what that allows me to do is it go it allows me to go in and say okay this specific shirt maybe has a bsr of two or three million so what does that tell you that tells you that that specific item has customer demand because someone's already purchased it there's definitely sales to be had in that specific niche but maybe you want to take that product get it in front of more people because maybe it's a really great optimized shirt but you're landing on you know the fifth page which is why you're not making many sales go in sort by seller's rank high to low and throw all of those shirts into AMS. Run automatic campaigns. If you don't know how to use AMS, go to the Merchant Former blog. We've done we've done multiple blog posts on how to get started and how to get up and running. But it's super, super helpful because you can find customer demand in products you already have and make more sales on them simply by finding where, where are some shirts that have sold in the past that have that customer demand that you just need to get a little bit more visibility and you can do that through AMS. So that's going to be a quick rundown of Merch Legend. I know they are working on some more things. I'm not exactly sure what else they're going to be including, but just as it stands right now, this tool is so powerful. It allows you to basically sort your entire account in so many different ways that are helpful that Merch by Amazon just doesn't offer us as sellers. If you guys are interested in checking it out, there's, you know, there's a free version. Pick it up in the link below. Let me know what you think. Play around with it. Make sure you analyze your entire account. This can take a little bit of time. But once you're done, I think you're going to find that it's very, very helpful. That's going to be all for today. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.